Ah, right, hey guys, uh, Scott with Football Scoop, uh, back on the inside scoop. We've got Pete Golding, uh, defense coordinator at Southeastern Louisiana with Ron Roberts on today. Pete, I appreciate you kicking Ron out and taking over the chair. Tell me what's Thanks. really going on over there. A lot more handsome and a lot more thinner, too, so. <laughs> I'll be easier view for a camera. You guys been eating well the uh, past couple of months? Yeah, and seen by Coach Roberts' video the other day, we all put on about 20 since we've been there at least, so. No, it's been good. So we're hitting all the local establishments, so that's for sure. Well, that's good for business. I'm glad to hear that. All right, so remind me, I think you're from down here, aren't you? Yes, sir. Born and raised in Hammond. Uh, actually went to Hammond High, and then uh, the Catholic school that I was raised at, Holy Ghost, we actually used strawberries in the field we use now uh, to play our home games. So oh, That's really cool. Yeah, my mom's still here the last 30 years. and uh, My brother's actually part of the team. They, they came back to Southeast in 03 when they brought football back. Huh, nice. A little history. All right, what's Ron up to today? He is actually hitting Dallas. I think they got a head coaches meeting. All right, so tell me uh, for real, how hard uh, how hard you guys been working as a staff? Y'all grinding or what? We've been working pretty hard, so as everybody has in the country. But you know, the biggest thing is not only are we junior recruiting right now, uh, we're still looking for some players for this fall. You know, so we're kind of double timing it, and and it's gonna be some long nights right now. But hopefully, it'll shorten them up for the fall if we get some good players in here. Hey, let me ask you about practice. You know, I know y'all are over already, but. Uh, I was recently out at Arizona, and uh, I saw this sound system they had. They had this massive mobile sound system they were pretty proud of, uh, and I've seen a couple others. Are y'all using music at practice? We, we do during the fall. We did in this spring, but, you know, however, when we were at Delta State, we did just simulate crowd noise and stuff like that. So uh, it'll definitely be in the plan. You know, when we play Missouri and UABs and, and those environments, you know, they're pretty rowdy. We'll get our kids ready, you know, whether it's a special teams environment, just from a communication standpoint more than anything. Uh, to try to prepare those kids as best as we can. That's a tough one, huh? Brand new staff, FCS program. <laughs> Y'all open up at Missouri. Yeah, the easy one, huh? Wow. <laughs> so, they're a good football team, that's for sure. But our, our kids are excited. Mm. Hopefully, we can get adjusted to the speed of the game, and we'll be ready for a good year. Glad to hear it. All right, Coach, let me ask you a fun one. Give me the name of a rec- – give me a recommendation, uh, a guy not on your staff who, you know, you think this is one of the up-and-coming guys in the profession, one of those guys that's going to be a great coach for the next 20, 30 years. Well, there's several that I could probably give you, uh, but one that comes offhand is Brian Brown. I uh, had the opportunity to work with him while I was at Delta State that spring of 2010. Uh, he played at Ole Miss, ended up going back that summer before the fall 2010 season uh, to GA for Knicks over at Ole Miss. Uh, was at Rutgers with Shiano, and then now just recently this spring uh, took the corners job at App State. Uh, young coach, very energetic, uh, very good recruiter. Uh, expect a lot of big things out of him in the future. That's good stuff. Hey, but I appreciate you all finding some time today. Um, you know, that's it's just good checking in with everybody, letting everybody know what else is going on out there in uh, in the profession. I will uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. All right, appreciate it, Scott.